Hey guys, Seb here. I'm the Associate Development Test Lead on Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Today we're extremely excited to welcome you to our open beta. During this period, you'll be able to explore the region of Attaqua, the initial drop zone in the Ghost Recon Wildlands story, which contains hours of main missions and activities. As an exclusive for this open beta, we also decided to unlock the beautiful yet dangerous province of Montuyo. Be prepared for a real challenge. Ghost Recon Wildlands is entirely playable solo or co-op up to four players, so please don't hesitate to invite your friends to explore our world. Also, you can connect to the Ghost Recon network to follow the latest news on the game and create your own task force. On behalf of the whole development team, thanks a lot for your interest and support. Ghost Recon Wildlands will be available on March 7, 2017. In the meantime, share your best moments with us by using the dedicated hashtag. We'll see you in the field. Good luck, ghosts. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the US and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. 
Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, boss of bosses, El Sueño.
agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A fluent business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ash. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, and JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contention of locals. The guitar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pacatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There's no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he is in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions.
Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective. Track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. I will teach I'll drive. it to their children. Pacha Mama must Man, keep a balance and harmony anymore. with the cosmos. Just that one time? And that is why I am happy that our country is working with Santa Blanca. This is not the same secular industrialization that the gringos and their CIA have tried to force upon us. This Mexican organization, this Latin organization believes, as I do, that human beings are caretakers of our earth, guardians of the land. And they believe that with proper management, we can find a way to benefit both man and la madre tierra. Santa Blanca is Bolivia's partner caring for our earth. This is for the future of Bolivia, compañeros. This is the legacy we leave the generations to come. There's an Air Force colonel and a Delta operator sitting next to each other on a flight out of Kip Kali. Is this the one where the Delta operator skins the Air Force colonel and wears them like a suit? What? No, different story. Oh, man, I love that one. Anyway, they're both headed back home after a long deployment. The Delta guy's been out in the desert doing, you know, Delta stuff, and he just wants to rack out for a while. But the Air Force colonel, he's on, like, his eighth espresso, and he's feeling chatty. So the colonel says, hey, you want to play a game to pass the time? It's a great game. You'll love it. Here's how it works. I ask you a question. If you can't answer it, you pay me $5. Then you get to ask me a question. If I can't answer it, I pay you $500. The Delta guy sighs and thinks it over. Hey, go ahead, he says. The colonel grins. What's the distance between Earth and Neptune? He says. The Delta operator thinks it over. Finally, he frowns, reaches into his pocket, and hands over $5. The Air Force guy, he grins. He figures he's gonna take this Delta guy for all he's worth. Your turn. The operator looks him in the eye. He says, what goes up the hill on sharp. four legs but comes down again on three? Then he lowers his head and he... Goes back to sleep. 
The colonel thinks and thinks. He gets out his smartphone and scours the internet for answers, but he can't find it. He calls up his buddies back in Saudi and asks them for help, but they can't find the answer either. Finally, the colonel admits defeat, pulls out $500, wakes up the Delta guy, and hands the money over. The operator pockets the money without a word and closes his eyes again. But the colonel just can't let it go. Roger that. Move it. He wakes the Delta guy up. He says, I gotta know. What goes up a hill on Ready four legs but comes down again on three? The Delta guy stares at the colonel for a second. Then he reaches in his pocket, hands the colonel five dollars, and goes back to sleep. Drone is airborne. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Got eyes on the target. Let's move. That's a kill. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Ready, call the shot. He's gone. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. I copy.
got a narco over here. There, and the watchtower. We got hostiles in the area. That's a kill. Eyes up, we got hostiles in the area. Drone is up. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Got another tango. And baby makes three. I got another. That's five. Say the word, boss. Kill confirmed. Target down. Tango down. Shit balls. Hold your position. Copy that. down. Took you so long. That Pendejo's no threat to anybody. Clear. How you guys holding up? 
¡Ya está! Entrego la Quédate sabes. quieto. ¡Ah! ¡Pinche cabrón! Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. ¿Lo entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabrón. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up these supplies later. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. I've got the bike. They don't make millions of dollars a month shipping products all over the world. They don't have a hacienda or hundreds of sicarios ready to die for them. So chicas, be mandonas, be bossy. 